liquid penetrant testing liquid penetrant testing is defined by the type of penetrant visible or fluorescent and the method that is used to remove the penetrant from the surface after the dwell time the methods are water washable lipophilic emulsifier solvent removable and hydrophilic emulsifier in this video i will be giving you a demonstration of the water washable method using a fluorescent penetrant the following is the basic equipment for water washable fluorescent test method here is the penetrant it's zl67 sensitivity level 3 a light meter to check the light intensity of the fluorescent light here is the fluorescent light then we will also need a pressure gauge to check the water pressure just shown here and finally a developer which is shown right here the first step for all liquid penetrant testing method is cleaning cleaning can be done using one of the following methods detergent cleaning solvent cleaning vapor degreasing alkaline cleaning steam cleaning ultrasonic cleaning the selection of the cleaning method depends on what kind of contaminant has to be removed and the effect of the cleaning method on the parts for this sample i have selected the solvent cleaning which i will spray now and uh, clean the sample remove any contaminant from the surface and now we are ready to do the inspection in this step I will be applying the penetrant to the sample there are several methods of applying the penetrant that include dipping brushing flooding or spraying I will be using the brushing method on this sample because it's more controlled and I can apply it to localized areas of interest this penetrant is ZL67 which is sensitivity level 3 and we simply apply it on the part and then we leave it on the part for the dwell time in this case I have selected a dwell time of 10 minutes here is the spray nozzle and you can see the water pressure is about 27 psi which is acceptable as it is, it is below the 40 psi level we are ready to spray the water to remove the penetrant and here we go in order to verify that the washing has been done properly we have to check the sample under the fluorescent light to make sure there is no background I am checking the surface of the sample it seems uh, I have to do a little bit more cleaning I will wash it a little bit more I think that should be good enough there are two types of developers non-aqueous and aqueous developers in case we are going to be applying the non-aqueous developer which is the most common developer then the sample surface has to be dried before the developer is applied so now we will dry the surface using forced air check the light level on the surface to be inspected it should be more than 1000 microwatt per centimeter square and we read on the light meter it's well above 2000 so we are good to go the sample is now ready for me to apply the developer even before I apply the developer you can see one indication right here I will now apply the developer and uh, now you can see the indications develop beautifully this one looks much better right here and here is the second one which is in the toe of the weld so we have this indication in the toe of the weld and another indication here in the base metal you can very clearly see that the water washable method is very effective the sensitivity of the penetrant we used was level 3 
and the indications show up really really good. That completes the demonstration of the water washable fluorescent test method.